a glorious summer night in New York. I'm at the backyard barbecue. The air is filled with the smell of hot dogs and vodka. I look across the yard and I see her. She's a real cute blonde with a great laugh. And she's a former adult film actress. I walk over and offer her a drink. Yeah, it's a beautiful night for a barbecue, isn't it? No, oh, I'll miss the city. Yeah, tomorrow I fly to Bosnia. It's a little colder there, be gone don't know how long. So how's your drink? Ah, no, I'm on a journalistic assignment. Cover the Balkans, bullets, bombs, war criminals. I don't know if I'll come back. Do you live nearby? Well, then let's go. I've been waiting all my life for a pickup line like that, and this worked. Uh, Dobra Don, hello. This is Joe Trippishin. I'd like to speak with Vlado, please. Oh, yes, Mr. Joe Trippishin. We heard you were here. We were wondering when you'd call. What? Uh, I didn't tell you I was here. Yes, we know. Welcome to Croatia. In the Balkans, everyone says, we can't talk on the phone. Meet me in the square at 12 o'clock. <laughs> so there I stand in the center of Josip Jelicic Square, my camouflage on, wondering if I look too much like a target. <laughs> Then we enter my hotel room. Oh, I see. Mr. Double Bed. Why do you need a double bed, Mr. Double Bed? <laughs> I didn't ask for it. It's just what they gave me. No, no, really. Look, I used to spread out my books, and I think you have some other plan in mind, Mr. Double Bed. <laughs> oh, look, let, let's just have a drink, and then you can go home. I think I go home now. No, please, don't. Go. I, I'm lonely here. Is that the only reason you want me to stay? Because you are lonely? No, of course not. I, I like you. Well, I can't make love to you. But what if I fall in love? I didn't have an answer for that. <laughs> it wasn't in my phrase book. <laughs> Later, I realized I should have responded, well, what if I fall in love with you? That would be giving too much away. And often lethal habit in the Balkans. Finally, a bearded friend arrives bearing gifts. A case of cheap plum brandy. A bag of pot. Four vials of heroin and a sack of second-hand AK-47s. <laughs> okay, Joe, now we have real party. <laughs> I don't know, Demi. I, I just want a ticket to Sarajevo. We have tickets here, and now we have party, because tomorrow you fly to Muslim shithole. <laughs> Joe, shit yelly. We're in his Jeep now. Going I don't know where, we're going real fast. Our little party of three arrives in the dead of night. What looks like a military garrison. Demir, what the fuck are we doing here? Shh! Out of his jeep now. Begin to creep up a small hill, slipping and falling in the mud, until we finally make it to a barbed wire fence. Next thing I know, Demir and the dealer are cutting into the fence and dragging me under it. We run up to a wooden shack. The dealer takes out an axe and starts whacking at it. I'm sweating bullets. And Demir, Demir hands me this empty sack. They start filling it with ammunition from the shed. Next thing I know, the lone guard in this post at the end of the road must have woken up from the racket and he starts running out towards us and stops. And then starts firing his rifle at us. We rush back in the cheap and take off. The Croats are laughing like navy hats. I start laying into Demir. Demir, 
You have a fucking death wish. <laughs> oh, you're just trying to kill me! The mere smoking a cigarette like we just finished the straw in the park. Thank you, Joe. You are now one of us. <laughs> this, uh, this regime has got too many crooks. So, you American writer, and you come to Sarajevo with thought we are all fundamentalists. No, you're all very urban, very cool. Ida would tell me how she would defiantly put on makeup, a blue eyeshadow, red lipstick, and proudly walk down the streets of Sarajevo. I wanted to taunt the stipers, and to say to them, I am wearing Lancome, and you can just wear your leaves and mold. <laughs> It was something I had to do. But you did not know whether to go out or to stay inside. Both, both could be the end of your life. Yet you had to find food, to find water, and to try to live your life. And my mother stayed home the entire war. And one day, a piece of mortar hit her. It had ricocheted off the building and hurt her leg. Uh, she is fine now, but she, she has never left her home. And you, Joe, are you married? No, but uh, I used to be. I, I was married for 13 years until my divorce. Oh, uh, and how many children? Oh, I don't have any. No, no children. Oh, no, that cannot be. No, no kids. Uh, Joe, excuse me, you wasted 13 years of your life. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but you did. <laughs> well, I don't exactly see it that way. And look at Ali here. When we turn and, and watch a little three-year-old throw sugar across the holiday in lobby, and he screams in joy, and, and he trots over and rubs his cute, sticky face into mine. He likes you. He needs a visa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 